Hey, your Elden Ring collector edition actually got here. I'm just gonna do like an unboxing video or something. Uh, I have a shit ton of work to do, so I don't, I don't have the time. You don't have the time, huh? Fine. unboxing for the collector's edition which arrived it's been a week since the game released and I got it just today uh, because of GameStop uh, I really had to actually talk to customer service like I think like four times in the past week wondering where it is and everybody would give me a different answer uh, but finally it got shipped about two days ago on Wednesday. They said something about the weather and them not receiving enough uh, copies, so I don't know. And I've heard horror stories that people receive their collector's edition, but when they opened the box, it was literally just a single game, no collector's edition. Even though the invoice on the inside still charged the 200 bucks. But I'm happy to see that it is actually the collector's edition for the PS5. So, uh, super excited. Look at this baby. That is beautiful. And this is what it's supposed to contain inside. I did buy the game digitally because I could not wait. So, let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. Oh, first I want to show, so if you pre-ordered at GameStop, I think it was a GameStop exclusive, but you got this little replica of the uh, horse whistle that you use in the game. Comes in this little pouch. They actually shipped this before they shipped the collector's edition. I literally got this. Uh, a few days before I even got this. I don't know why they would ship it separately. It's not like it's amazing or anything. It's really small. It's much smaller than I thought. But, hey, it was free, so whatever. So let's open up this bad boy. Okay, let's take on the bottom. Okay, so then it's just all black. No. Okay, open it this way. A box inside another box inside another box inside another box. Oh no, wait. What is this? Is this the art book? Let's see what that is. Oh, that's cool. That's probably one of the game's rooms. I've actually been playing it for quite a bit. I love the game so much. It's literally a Souls fan's dream come true. Oh, that's awesome. The art of Elden Ring. Do not eat. What is, oh, this is like the actual game case. And it brings the digital soundtrack. That's cool. So it brings both cases. I guess it brings the steelbook, or at least one version of it. And it also includes the game. So, so yeah, people were opening their 
boxes for the collective edition and this was the only literal thing that they got. I can't imagine. <laughs> I would be pissed. Which I'm pretty sure they were too. So, the Art of Elden Ring. Let's see really quick. Fields. Just shows in the environments of the game. The atmosphere and the environments in this game, just like the design, is really some of their best work. It, it's so amazing. There's some cities in, in specific. I'm talking about the underground city is, is just, it's amazing. I've literally taken so many screenshots of the game. And I think I still have like three regions left to explore in the game. The game is, is, is crazy. Oh, characters, cool. Torrent, the horse. I still haven't found this armor yet. Melina. I'm guessing these are some NPCs or characters. I recognize some of them as NPCs. And then that cool armor that I have in the game. Oh, the weapons. That's really cool. I found a ton of weapons. In this game, it does really pay off to go exploring. It's that Game of Thrones inspired sword. It's like literal a whole bunch of swords to make one big sword. There's a lot of them I haven't found yet though. Enemies, Crucible Knight. Stupid asshole. Pumpkin head. Oh, those moss of the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First mini boss of the game that'll kick your ass. The giants. That's really cool. Demigods. Radon. Oh, God. And that's it. That's really cool. So, what else we got?
So thanks for watching my unboxing. It was kind of quick, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And who knows, maybe stay tuned for another video. See ya.